Hi everyone, have a good weekend. Um, it's Burak from Trading Channels and this is the weekend video. I will discuss on some of the main indices, uh, forex pairs and commodities. Um, let's have a look now first. Yes, the S&P e-mini contract as usual. So I've been bullish for a very long time if you have been following me actually since last april um there was some this was the covid crash and once we broke out of the channel i turned completely bullish and since then the major supports have been holding uh, which is why i refuse to pick tops i buy the bottoms and it's been working well and but but we are getting to critical levels i mean critical what i mean is that the uh, the current price action is approaching or nearing some of the uh, strong supports that have been holding. Uh, one of them is this blue one, okay? This here, uh, which has been f tested four times. It came very close and you can see the fourth time was also saved. And we basically, yeah, we, uh, we bought this bounce at 4,081 and we closed uh, around here but then I bought we bought the uh, Russell 2000 and FTSE in, in the UK because um, everything is still very very bullish and this was kind of a bear trap which I also mentioned just last week um, you can see the bull flag that formed that's perfect bull flag clearly this bounce was also supported by the golden here the golden support only once it when it bounces then it becomes a support okay um and it to become a bull flag clearly this didn't this wasn't very evident at the bounce off here because it didn't have the the top band quite nicely formed but then the top band was formed very clearly here you can see here after the bounce actually it was more or less formed but this this action had uh, a much better definition so it basically went back into the bull flag that was also another trap for me then later on once it's broken you can see that that was a surge and it basically cleared a new to a new high and it's very close to a new all-time high and I believe at the golden top band it's going to get to that level and then from there we'll see what happens maybe we'll pull back but after that if it breaks to the upside then there is more clearly uh, there will be more rally to come um, as long as this blue support is holding i will be keeping my bear bullish view and i will be buying the dips this is not the only support i'm only showing this as the immediate support i have others that 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 formed during the whole rally i'm not going to show them here because it will be a bit more complicated or let's say confusing um distracting so far the only thing that that the the line that matters is this blue support one and this here is dow jones um uh, continuous contract here the golden support okay right from here and the green all the way from the March laws also these are the line in the sand I mean the golden one if it's broken yes that will look very bearish all of a sudden at least for the short to medium term but as long as this these ones are intact and they are not breached I will be you know I will be leaning bullish and this one also let me show you the the perfect bull flag this was a very nicely formed bull flag first initially actually it was it had formed on this much better this was the cfd so it wasn't the futures but the cfd um of the dow jones you can see the red bull flag and the break out of it now the green resistance may hold so we'll, we may see some pullback on monday but then after that, if it's break broken, then there will be obviously this this would count as a triangle, right? So this blue support is holding, 
and yeah if we see uh, a breakout then that will be uh, uh, another very bullish um, action so um, a Nasdaq here the golden support line this year obviously this internal the golden channel is the one to watch for me the main one which has been driving everything to the upside is this golden channel and it's still not even close to being breached so I'm not going to turn bearish as long as this bottom band is breached um, as long as it, this bottom band is holding so what we had on Friday or, or Thursday actually was this perfect bounce off the red bottom band so I so this was the trend start this is the dip went all the way up and then came back down without making a new law went all the way up again and then started a correction consolidation and I had this red bottom band right here before the bounce so that is what channels can do if you plot them right the bounce of this was a very bullish action and it basically targets the red top band as simple as that especially if this red internal resistance rail can be taken out I mean if we see a pullback and then later on break out that would take Nasdaq to the black resistance clearly and if this black resistance breaks too then even the red top band or ultimately the golden top band which is around 15,500 400 that would be the target yes unbelievable yes it's very you know highly uh, inflated this and that you may call you may call it you know like exuberance anything you call it the price action matters and the price action tells me this was bullish I'm not gonna fight that there is no way I'm gonna fight the price action and this blue resistance will also you know the break of that would also uh, become a, a, a buy signal as simple as that and Russell um, another very obvious buy signal I'm going to show you now so the first one which we bought was this I had this green top band here and the green bottom band right here and I said um, if we see a bounce off this double support I'm going to be buying it and this here one two three four touches or three touches actually I mean you can call it a, like a rail this here right there yeah so one two three four five six touches and this becomes once it bounces here I'm telling this as a very strong double support and I buy it and the but the the obviously this the the stop loss was here so the, I th I remember the the 16 handle stop loss after the bounce I bought I think it was 16 or 15 handles right here and the target is this green top band okay and once it moves higher what are you going to lose nothing because you're going to put your stop right around here you're not gonna take a loss once this, the moves started if it comes back obviously the, the fourth one I'm not gonna wait for the fourth touch because the fourth touch to my experience is usually the one that breaks it so it was a very high probability trade with an incredible return on risk and uh, we close around here okay once I saw I mean I think it was around 2275 you can you calculate how much was the re reward to risk ratio was um, and we, we bought again and this here at this double support I mean the red top once formed three touches the bottom band was formed to two touches and this is the third touch and the broken blue resistance so that is another double support and once it bounced I went in again why not I mean it is what are you going to lose if you buy it here nothing you can lose right if it bounces, I mean if it clears this and tanks you can even turn reverse the trade and short it 
But right now, the bounce tells me that this market is wants to go higher. Some traders, you know, concentrate only on ES or only on Dow Jones or only on this and that. I follow quite a few indices and I, I gain a lot of perspective when I don't get so for example if I don't something I can I don't get a good reading from Russell I look into Nasdaq and I look into ES uh, E mini so then I can gather if they are all touching their respective supports then I, I gain more confidence that the trade is going to play out so when Russell was touching this it was also Nasdaq was touching this one here so why i mean this is like a double triple confirmation of my bullish bias then what we had was russell testing and breaking the golden rail coming back for a back test lovely two back tests and then pushing higher weaker than the others but i still believe our ultimate goal target is 2330 uh, as long as this red channel holds look i'm not going to hold this position i mean it's already the the stop is already at break even the the level was 2263 after the bounce and i'm not going to hold this position if the red bottom man breaks i may even turn bearish if it does but i believe it's going to get to that level first so um yeah this is how it works and ultimately there is also another possibility to get all the way to this green top band at 2400 and 410 or something FTSE why did why we bought it again I'm gonna explain very clearly this here was an extremely accurate resistance which was broken and I said I'm gonna buy the back test if it comes here and bounces and another was the golden support rail of course it was two touches here one and two touches and it to me it counted as a rail obviously my main reference point was the blue one so once it bounced i bought at 7033 yeah 7033 right around here and then now it made a new high obviously and the ultimate target is here at the red top band but maybe we'll see something like this so i may close half the position right here but i believe at least this resistance will be taken out and dax another perfect bull flag formation with the green the bull flag formed like this so it came down here two touches here and one touch here and the moment it bounces it becomes a, a potential bull flag and later on once it's broken it's a confirmed bull flag and then we had the back test of it and then these are no-brainer trades i don't you know it's it's not rocket science anyone who understands lines anyone who understands what constitutes a bull flag or support or resistance they can do this but uh, without distracting themselves with other stuff like RSI's like uh, in uh, you know indicators Elliott wave I don't need any of these I need the price action that recognizes my lines I'm not plotting these lines and not not making the making up these lines these lines are seen by the market as resistance i'm only highlighting them and i'm working i mean i'm trading these lines as long as they work so i believe here this golden resistance will break maybe we get a back test on it and if the back test holds there's another buy buying possibility why not or the buy the breakout why not um let's have a look at commodities the biggest one is oil and i've been showing this for a long time to the subscribers here this was the covid crash and the top band of the purple so when it was bouncing off i said this is going to be a mega bull flag because of that and that top band 
and it came for the third test and now it's breaking to the upside at 71.63 it's already broken out so good luck shorting oil i don't think it's it's not going to i don't think it's going to crash for a long time it will probably get keep going and then coming back for a back test you may want to buy it there and then keep on rallying every chart is log scale uh, without log scale commodities especially are useless don't even try N like nat gas this golden channel is the one to watch i'm still bearish nat gas and we shorted it right here at the back test of the broken blue rail the, this was the short just last week and we i closed half of the position at the red bottom band because that red bottom band's bounce was already a warning for me that we may see going up so how close half of the position keeping the rest and i'm expecting this red bottom and i'm hoping the red bottom man will be broken to the downside so the 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 short was right around here at 3 1 24 31 24 okay i'm yeah fingers crossed this is going to come down further this week or next week gold here the purple bottom band held one two three this is the fourth touch uh really good bounce a good close to the week but if we see another touch on the purple we may see it to break we may see a break otherwise it has to keep on going and smash this double resistance it's not double resistance excuse me the red the green one is not a resistance yet so if we break the purple then i suspect we will get to the green bottom man which is a speculative support so far there is also a possibility to really sell off again to 1800 levels to back test the broken red bull flag okay i mean uh obviously i had shown in the previous videos the 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 previous setups this this beautiful break back test this was where we bought it and it kept on going and breaking to the other upside all these lines as long as they are they are recognized by the market uh i will be acting on them to trade them to profit from them as simple as that so i'm i'm yeah extending this video but i just want to make sure that you understand the methodology behind it so now everybody knows about this rectangle on silver but what we had was we had a long so all right let me show you how things worked out okay this was the first bull flag right okay this here the red okay was it's not very accurate one because i delete i plotted it very quickly breakout okay and then obviously it came yes it the, the breakout we obviously bought into and then it came back for a test on this support rail and then from here it pushed this one was a speculative resistance because i already had the bottom band touch this was the august high and i said if it reverses here i'm going to exit the long and that's exactly what we did around 30. i didn't short it i basically yeah looked away and i was busy with something else i should have shorted it obviously and it because it crashed all the way to 24 or something but then this red bull flag was broken to the upside, back tested three times. You can see the perfect back test three times. Climbed up and then came back down and it formed this blue rail. And the blue rail and the blue support rail was broken just this week. And it came back for a back test after bouncing off the golden bottom band. And the golden resistance here with three touches okay this reversal was confirming that resistance so what it there it has two very critical action that it can do it will either reverse here at the blue rail come back down and break the golden support and that would be extremely bearish 
it may even come back down all the way to the purple bottom man for a third touch. The other option is it comes back down, bounces and breaks it to the upside all the way to get all the way to the purple top band ultimately around 31 so what it will do from this bull flag potential bull flag is extremely critical next week all right let's have a look at forex it's getting too long euro um i showed this so many times this is a, a giant bull flag all formed all the way from 2008 so many touches at this top band and so many touches at this bottom band and it was broken and it was back tested and this back test held a um, slight da damage yes but it was it it, it held and uh, which is why i've been very bearish on i mean if you haven't followed me i've been extremely bearish on us dollar for a very long time and these actions only reinforces my bearish bias so we bought we had bought the veg breakout and it was also at the back test of the black as i have mentioned my lines are terrible right now uh, it's all over the place there is some um, bug on the platform i'm using right now um, the green top band at 130 is the target okay this is the daily chart uh, again logarithmic scale you may argue it's It's not, um, yeah, log scale is not necessary on, on Forex. You may argue that, but I disagree. So um, what we have here is maybe this red resistance rail. We get there, come back down, maybe even the golden button band and then push higher. That would be, you know, if we come back down, I would be buying this heavy if we see a bounce. Okay, so... Pound sterling, are extremely critical, very, very critical days. And the reason is this green major resistance that has been holding at 147, sorry, 142.70. The bottom band, perfect. The top band, one, two, three. And how many touches here? Four. So in total, five touches on that green top band. And once we get over 142.80, there is no turning back. And the target will be 155. Okay, good luck shorting it. Really, I'm I'm very very confident about that trade if and when this green top band breaks. U.S. dollar, Japanese yen. This is the last. No, not last. You. Um, okay, this red channel is the one to watch. Okay, this this crash, uh, COVID crash, bounce huge came back down really good rally and the red top band again the red bottom man was very clear i said the red top band is not confirmed yet but with this reversal it was confirmed that's how it works with the channels if you know how to plot them and now here we have the blue rail okay and the golden resistance that held at the third touch, this again was a resistance that I said, if we see a reversal, it's going to become, uh, you know, it's going to come to the blue rail and we'll see. I mean, maybe the blue rail will hold and then clears it, comes back down to the golden and then breaks it. So that would be a bear flag if we see something like this, okay? that's the plan obviously if the red top band breaks i'm going to you know completely turn us dollar japanese yen bull i'm um, not stupid aussie dollar here the golden rail diagonal support support and resistance and then resistance broken and it's holding a support and more importantly what we had is the bounce off the blue bottom man. That is a very, very important bounce. We may see another rally to new highs, okay? As long as this blue bottom man holds. All right, have a good rest of the weekend, guys. Bye-bye.